Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, I'm Caleb, and I can't wait for you to join me as we check out my Bible. Maybe you've heard the Bible is just a collection of rules about how to live or some dusty history book. Well, I'm here to tell you the Bible is way more than that. It's a library of 66 books inspired by God and written down by a group of fascinating people who followed God over hundreds of years. You'll find adventure, poetry, words of wisdom, dreams, and letters from prison. Through it all, we discover the story of how God created us and loves us so deeply that God gave up everything to rescue us, even after we turned away. God deserves all of our love and respect. And when we learn to honor God, we can start to show respect for the people made in God's image too. And spoiler alert, that's everyone. <laughs> I've got four stories that show us where to start, beginning in the New Testament book of yeah, Luke. Here, Jesus has just begun to teach and heal as he travels around Galilee. Now it's time to collect a group of close followers. Jesus could easily take his pick from the scholarly cream of the crop in the synagogue. <laughs> Instead, Jesus turns to a collection of rough fishermen and a hated tax collector to find his first disciples. Next up, the book of Matthew. As Jesus teaches his closest followers on a mountainside in Galilee, great crowds gather. They listen, captivated as Jesus turns their world upside down. He says that those who are humble will win it all. If someone shoves you, don't fight back. And rather than just loving the people who love you back, show respect to those you don't get along with too. Now we hop forward again to Luke 10. Sisters, Mary and Martha are throwing a dinner party for Jesus. But while Martha's going a mile a minute to prepare the meal, Mary pauses to sit at Jesus's feet and listen. Martha hits boiling point and begs Jesus to make Mary help with the food. But instead, Jesus gives Martha some serious food for thought. We wrap up back in the book of Matthew. Here, the servant of a Roman centurion is desperately sick. When the commander pleads with Jesus to heal the man, Jesus offers to come to his house. No brainer, right? But instead of having Jesus come to his house, the commander proves his ultimate respect by asking Jesus to speak the word right then and there. Like the Roman commander knew, God is most important, but we're also called to show respect to every single person made in God's image. And I can't wait to see how it grows in you and me.